Hello traders, FS Pepcolette here. Today is Monday, March 25th, and I'm going to be analyzing the Aussie US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So on the Aussie dollar monthly, I still think we're looking at a big WXY. I think this is three ways up W, three ways down X, and I think this is going to be an ABC or a three way pattern to the upside for an ABC of wave Y, which I still think needs to go up and take out these highs and probably end up all the way up to one of these higher Fibonacci extension levels. So taking it down to the weekly time frame, on the weekly time frame, I still think this is the end of a wave B. I, that means that this way here would be a one. That means this move down would be a wave two, which it kind of looks like the wave two needs to go down more, maybe all the way down to the 78.6 before it actually goes up and makes that big wave three, big wave four, and big wave five. Most likely at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of wave C, which is a wave C of wave Y, like I was showing on the monthly time frame. Taking it down to the daily time frame, I think that most likely this first push down is a wave A. I think this move up right here is three waves up wave B. I think more than likely this is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of wave C, which is probably going to go down to at least a 78.6 before we get that break of structure ending a wave 2. This five waves up I think is a wave 1, A, B, C of 2, and eventually going up for a wave 3. A 1, 2, 3 of wave C, just like I was showing on the week and monthly time frames. Taking it down to the four hour time frame, we do definitely have a break of structure to the upside, so I think that pretty much proves that this first set in a trend is over, which I think that this most likely is a one, and I think this is a big ABC of two. I think we're already in a wave three, which means this is like a subdivision one. We're probably going up now for a subdivision two, and then down for a subdivision three. So a one of three, a two of three, and a wave three of wave three. Taking it down to the one hour time frame. One hour time frame with the break of structure to the upside and the nice end of a trend we got here. Then you could definitely be looking for longs on these sort of time frames. I think there's a pretty good chance that we will go up at least to the 38, maybe even the 50, to make what I would call an A, a B, and a C of wave two. I think this downtrend is a one. I think we're probably in an A, B, C of two. I would expect to see a fib bounce off really any one of these fibs. It might even make its way all the way up to the 61 point eight but either way i'm definitely looking for a fib bounce i'm looking for a break of structure to the downside nice big engulfing move at a fibonacci level for my next sort for the continuation of the up down trend now if you really are a scalper you could possibly be looking for longs on sort of time frames but i think the real money is going to be made on the sort side when we end this wave two and start a big wave three which it should be a one two three of wave c based on the higher time frames so don't forget to check out my new my uh, Discord channel linked in the card up here above, and don't forget to check out my new website link down here in the corner. As always, thanks and happy trading.